What's up everybody? Combo Collectibles coming at you from Fan Expo 2023 and we are here with the one and only Alexis Tipton. How Hi. are you doing today? I'm good. How about yourself? Excellent. Thank you so much for taking the time to <laughs> speak with us today. Uh, have you been up to Fan Expo Canada before? Is this your no, first time? No, it's not my first time in Toronto, but it is okay. my first time at Fan Expo Canada. How are you so. enjoying the event so far? It's I love awesome. it. It's great. I, I've done a few Fan Expos in the States and I think this might be the biggest one I've been to. So I know that's this really is fun. the biggest one in Canada for sure. For sure. Yeah. So that's what I've heard really too. It's really exciting. Yeah. Well, we're glad to have you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm now, glad to be here. <laughs> a couple questions about your voice acting. Okay. Um, you do a range of characters, including male and female voices. Mm. So when you're doing a voice like Trunks from Dragon Ball Super, right. and you kind of have to throw that rasp onto it, <laughs> yeah. does that take more of a toll on your voice? Do you need more recovery time for something yes. like that? Yes, yes. So Trunks, Kid Trunks, is my only character that I have like a hard limit on. Um, mm. I will tell the studio I cannot record for more than two hours at a time, and I need at least 24-hour break before the next session. Um, yeah. yeah, it's, it's a very... <laughs> The voice itself is is very um, taxing on my vocal cords, but then you pair that with like you know the Dragon Ball screaming, and <laughs> that's enough on its own. Isn't yeah, it? <laughs> but yeah, the screaming alone, but yeah, for sure. So yeah. Now speaking of trunks, when when him and Goten do the fusion, it's uh -huh. a fusion of you and Kara's voice, right? Yes, correct. Do you guys record that at the same time, or is that recorded separate? That is actually recorded separately. Okay. And and it is uh, is my understanding, and um, I. I, I don't know why they would record anybody else differently, but all the fusions are recorded the same way. Um, we don't really have a hard and fast rule about who records first, okay. but how it happens is, is whoever goes in first will uh, preview the Japanese, mm -hmm. lay down their track as either Goten or Trunks, and then the second person will go in, not even preview the Japanese, just listen to the English. Right. And our engineer will do this beautiful thing where there is a uh, screen in front of us where he will put the voice file so we can oh, see our voice okay. file being recorded in real time so cool. we can get a good idea of the timing. Uh, and then we have to get it about 90 to 95% accurate. And then Pro Tools, which is our recording program, has a plug-in that will kind of handle the discrepancy. Interesting. But it's, you know, Kara, <laughs> anytime Kara records before me, she loves throwing me curveballs. Like, she'll throw out these weird reactions, and I can just hear her going, follow that, mimic that. Just and it's to like, see what you do with it, right? I know. See, and that, then I do the same thing to her, so. That kind of answered my follow-up question, too, about how, how difficult it is to sync those up. So, yeah. a little bit tricky, and you have a little bit of fun with it, too. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And, and, like, we we agree that Go Tanks is more of the Trunks personality than the Goten personality. Okay. It's like the Trunks stank times like 10. So, you he know, is it, a little bit more confident than yes. Goten because that really comes out yeah. <laughs> in Gotenks, yeah. Yeah. Now, another character that I absolutely love that you do is Hatsume oh, as well, thank my you. hero. But she always seems to, she's so quirky, pun intended. I, that's what uh, I say too. And eccentric. I'm stealing my gig. No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but her energy level is always like an 11. How do, How is that when you're preparing? How do you prepare yourself to go in and do a day of Hatsume and being at that level for the whole time? Caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> Which honestly is like kind of a no-no when you record because caffeine yeah. can dehydrate you and therefore your vocal cords. Exception for Hatsume. Um, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, she never has too many hours of work every time she shows up, but I need a nap after I'm done recording for her. So I can imagine. It seems like a very high energy role, but you yes. definitely bring it every time. Thank we love you. it. Thank you. And one last question. Yeah. I do a lot of collectibles on my channel, Funko Pops, anime figures and stuff. Do you have any collectibles at home or do you keep anything from the roles that you've done to kind of commemorate yes. them? Actually, you know, fans at conventions are like mind-blowingly generous and so I have a whole like my home studio at home and my my home office like is just full of stuff I've gotten from fans over the oh, years awesome. I get a lot of like fan art from people and people are so freaking talented like I can't throw anything out so like all the artwork I have is either framed on the wall or it lives in an art book so that it's safe um, I do have uh, every time one of my characters gets a Funko Pop I like kind of snag one for myself just to have you gotta that's have really the whole cool. set right yeah <laughs> and um, I do also collect some figures on my own. I have a Kurumi Tokisaki from Data Live collection going nice. on right now because uh, she has probably the most figures out of any character I voice, and so that's really fun. And um, I've Very got cool. like a Reiju Vinsmoke figure, and I've got some Kaguya Shinomiya figures, and like oh, all kinds of awesome. stuff. So yeah, you walk into my office at home, and it's just like anime nerd. <laughs> Same with my studio, just covered yeah. in anime stuff. That's, that's right. how it that's should how be. It's awesome. Exactly, exactly. You get it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. We don't want to keep thank you too you. long. No, really no appreciate worries. it. And you're here all weekend, right? So all guys, weekend. it's not too late. Yeah. Come on out to Fan Expo. Come say hi to Alexis. Please. <laughs>